Good morning, my lovely, lovely people. Coming from far away, I've been on a visit to see a friend, right? And um, I haven't seen her for a while, but it's so nice to connect and be in touch with people that you respect, okay? Now, I've come here this morning because I'm questioning the quote. There's a quote. You've got to love yourself before you love others. Now, actually, I actually re perfectly said, because it's a good thing, it's a good phase, but then I question it. I've questioned it. Love yourself before you love others. Love yourself. How do you love yourself? Okay. Stop preventing yourself from doing the things that you know you really could do or want to do, but you worry about other people. Okay. Loving yourself as well as allowing yourself for um, freedom of expression. Now, when you can learn to be free with your words and not worry about repercussions, the repercussions of of those words and people tarnishing you and knocking you down, then yeah, it's gonna affect you. But love yourself before you can love others. No, I'm gonna take that right back. I'm gonna take that back. I get loving yourself is respecting yourself. But they need to respect you because when people tell you, I love you, and you don't really know them, but they put that word out, love you, love you, is a sign of, I really care about you, but they give that word away so freely and it means nothing after about six months when you find out what they really are. So I'm very careful with telling people that I love them. Okay, so they don't come into it. <laughs> love yourself before you love others. I think I'm gonna love myself and respect those that respect me. Because when you're sharing space with people, it is about respect and understanding. It's crucial that there's understanding and not too much of an expectation, but just literally manners. Manners cost nothing. And if people, people can have manners and they can be kind, then people can get through their days a lot easier than thinking worst of themselves. I used to say, love myself. I thought, yeah, well, I do. But just because somebody crumbles sometimes and they get into a bit of depression doesn't mean they don't love themselves. What it does say is that they're affected by something outside of their four walls, okay? So we can love ourselves, but we just don't trust too many people. And I think trust yourself is the first key. Do you trust yourself? Yes, we make poor decisions on people, but that's not necessarily our fault. The poor decisions come from people not understanding us. That's the love language, all right? So you've got to find the right balance and the right communication. But love yourself. <clears throat> respect yourself. <laughs> okay. And uh, respect others because that's what it is, isn't it? That's the turntable goes all the way around so if you can um, respect yourself and you can respect others then the world would be great it would be a great place and it's a two-way street isn't it so people need to respect you I really don't like that term too much uh, you need to love yourself particularly when you know you're fine but you might like um, oh, I might have, um, you might have had an incident with somebody or fell out with someone and it might put you down a bit. It doesn't mean you don't love yourself. It just means that something went wrong uh, and it's not necessarily you because people are like passing ships. They come, fill up their tank and then they move on. So you've got to make sure that yours is not, you know, it should be always a, a two-way respect when it comes to individual and humanity that's all i really wanted to say today i'm questioning that love yourself before you can love others i think we always think about others uh maybe a little bit more than we think of ourselves um and i think especially like you know there's some people out there that can um literally give somebody the world and there's some people that don't give themselves enough so explore the world explore what this world love what that word love is i mean i've had many relationships and you talk about the word love you love something about each and every individual there's something some kind of personality or maybe something nice that they do for you but you know that definition of love that's the big one take care bye bye